day of spring. I hope everybody's enjoying uh, the opportunity to get outside in their yard a little bit and uh, experience some wellness. So, I know everybody's been cooped up and uh, have concerns about what's been going on lately, uh, but we're going to continue with our series on wellness. And I hope everybody had an opportunity last week to think about what we talked about in regards to diet and food, because I know that was a fun one for me to, uh, to deal with. So, <laughs> today we're going to make it a lot simpler and a lot shorter. Uh, again, happy spring and uh, get a chance to get outside and continue to feel the cycles that uh, keep us in that level of wellness and get the kids outside and have some fun. So one of the things that uh, we're going to talk about today, actually the primary thing we're talking about today is this, making sure that we do the right things so that the right things happen. And I know that this has been a theme uh, going on for a lot of folks, washing our hands, keeping six feet away from folks, the social distancing, of course, and getting through this whole experience. So it's important. The, one of the issues in regards to washing our hands is that most people don't wash their hands long enough to actually make a difference. And so you want to wash your hands at least for 20 seconds soap and water, at least 20 seconds. And you want to be able to wash kind of up to your elbows, more like you're getting ready to do surgery. Everybody's seen that on TV. Do the surgery moves and, and wash your hands for at least 20 seconds. Now, the other thing that people are doing, if you can't do that, because you're not at home or you're not in the office, having the ability to wash your hands, everybody's using hand sanitizer. And I know that's been going on for a long time. Now, we have our issues with hand sanitizer. Um, yes, it'll absolutely kill the germs on your hands, kill the bacteria on your hands. It's full of alcohol. It tends to dry the skin out quite a bit. I've noticed that a lot of people that actually use hand sanitizer uh, over a long period of time start to have skin problems, can have eczema. If you're dealing with any kind of skin problems, you might want to back off of the hand sanitizer. There's other ways to make sure that your hands are sanitized. And one of those is the use of copper. Now, copper's been known to be antimicrobial and antibacterial for a very long time. It's been used for hundreds of years. Um, and it's also something that uh, not just handles bacteria and microbes, it's also a sensitive material in relationship to energy and in relationship to holding information. And that's something maybe we can talk about at some other time. But there are other ways to make sure we get hands sanitized. Now, I have no connection with this company whatsoever. And I'm going to have my partner come over and demonstrate this. This is called Copper Touch. And like I said, I have no connection with this company whatsoever. I found them online. You can easily find them. And it's a hand sanitizer. And here's how it works. Give me your football. Take it out. Also, hand sanitizer is toxic. It doesn't show, do anything. Show, show the audience what it is. Show it to them. It is a beautiful piece of copper uh, shaped in the shape of soap. And rub your hands. And if, if you rub your hands for 60 seconds, that's what they recommend, One, two, you're going to handle 95.9% .9 of all bacteria and microbes. If you notice, Silas is putting it between his fingers because they recommend that as well, and on the top of his hands. And instead of squirting that hand sanitizer, and if we don't have an opportunity to wash our hands with soap and water, this is a great alternative. Thank you, sir. So that's called Copper Touch, and it's fantastic for sanitizing the hands. If you're skeptical about it, they sent me some information today. There you go, sir. Thanks. That's their brochure that comes with the product. It's very inexpensive. And on the back it says, if you're skeptical, there's the website that you can go to to get information on what copper really does and doesn't do in regards to sanitizing the hands. So. That's your wellness tip for today. Enjoy. Check out Copper Touch, and we'll see you next week.